Hello and welcome to the Simutech Tips and Tricks video series. Today we are going to perform a steady state thermal electric analysis and see how we can capture the joule heating effect which is heating when current flows through a resistive conductor Seebeck effect where a voltage is produced in a thermoelectric material due to temperature difference and the Peltier effect which is cooling or heating at a junction of two dissimilar uh, materials when electric current flows through it. So in ANSYS workbench, I have inserted a thermal electric analysis and then in engineering data, I have a copper alloy material defined and then gallium arsenide and the gallium nitride. So the default material properties required to run a thermal electric are the thermal properties which is thermal conductivity. No other thermal properties are needed since it's a steady state analysis. And then you need the Seebeck coefficient, so it can be isotropic or orthotropic. So in this case, just an isotropic uh, material is used. And then the resistivity of the material. So and then if I go on to the ANSYS mechanical window, this is the geometry I have. So this, these three parts are made of uh, copper alloy. And then this one is made up of uh, gallium arsenide and the other one is made up of gallium nitride. So this is the default mesh I have in the model. It's a multi-body part, so the meshes are all uh, connected uh, without need for a contact region. So under analysis settings, I have a temperature boundary condition applied on top of the copper alloy. There is current of 20 amps flowing in from one side, and then the other side has uh, zero voltage or it's grounded. So if you look at the results, you can see that due to the dissimilarity of the materials, there is Peltier cooling effect going on. And so the initial temperature, which was 22 degrees C, uh, should have allowed the entire system to be at 80 degrees C. But instead, due to the cooling, you see a 77 uh, degree temperature on this side and then uh, a slightly um, lesser, less than 80 degree value on the other side. Now if I went ahead and reverse the current direction, say minus 20, or, or set the, this side to be the current and this side to be the voltage, then I would see a reversed uh, temperature such that this body becomes 83 degrees. So in the same delta T of around 3 degrees. Thank you for watching this video.